who Lloyd Roberts has got in, going undercover, and has talked to some of those people who are involved. This is her extraordinary report. Despite the daily death toll, the protests in Syria continue, but the tactics have changed. They're held at night to minimize casualties, and back in March when they began, the protesters called for reform. Today, as the name of each atrocity and massacre carried out by the Assad regime is called out, the crowd call for the death of the president by hanging. These protests are taking place every night in Homs now with apparently unabated enthusiasm, which is impressive, not least because they've been going on for seven months now and so little has been achieved. But this, I'm reminded, is not the point. I haven't seen anything like this in my life. The old, the young, women, everyone calling for freedom in Syria. This revolution will win, God willing. The army has encircled Homs and attack every day. People tell you they have rats but no food. Water, power and communications are cut off in the areas where demonstrations take place. I was taken to meet Mohammed, one of the soldiers who was ordered to attack the city. We were ordered to kill everything that moved, everyone who was walking in the street. There were children. We were being ordered to kill our own people, who at the end of the day are our own flesh and blood. Only on Friday the protest takes place during the day after midday prayers and the army always attacks. In a network of field hospitals, doctors prepare for the inevitable casualties. They can no longer take the injured to the government hospitals. To our astonishment, we found that when we did that, the injured were either arrested or killed. A man would go into the hospital with a treatable injury to his hand or to his leg, and his family would be summoned to collect a corpse with a shot in the head or in the chest. Homs may boast the title of the capital of the Syrian revolution, but it has cost them over a thousand dead. But they say they're winning. We'll carry on telling Bashar al-Assad to go, one protester tells me, even if he has to kill every one of us. Sue Lloyd Roberts, BBC News, Homs. Now back to the...